welcome to our special program tonight, folks. And I do mean special program. Ray White on guitar, Cal Bell and vocals. Patrick O'Hearn on electric bass and little teeny puckered lips. Little skinny Terry Ted Bozio on drums and he will eat anything. And of course, Edwin Jobson on keyboards and violin. And nice white arms and ashes down the front of his clothes. And, and me with a song about your feet. In the dark, where all the fevers grow, under the water, where the shark bubbles blow. In the morning, by your radio, do the walls close in to suffocate you? you? Ain't got no friends, and all the others they hate you. This is the life you've been leading, you gotta go. Now tell the truth. Let me straighten you out. Not a place I know. Now get your shoes and socks on, people, because it's literally right around the corner. Out through the night and the whisper and breeze, to the place where they give you imaginary diseases. Out through the night and the whisper and breeze, to the place where they give you imaginary diseases. <laughs> call this stupid disease bromidrosis and well they should but us regular folks who might wear a tennis shoe or an occasional python <laughs> know of this exquisite little inconvenience by the name of stank part yes that's very true hey listen buddy if you're gonna sell t-shirts don't do it in the middle of the concert take them outside someplace <laughs> Anybody else who's walking around the audience with t-shirts, get the fuck out of here. That pisses me off! I didn't know such things existed. A guy walking in front of the stage with a fucking t-shirt to sell to somebody. Well, you live and learn. Scientists call these t-shirts bromidrosis and well they should, but us regular folks who might wear a tennis shoe or an occasional buy that boot know this exquisite little inconvenience by the name of commercialism. You know, my python boot was too tight. Couldn't get it off last night. A week went by and now it's July. Finally got it off. And my girlfriend cried, you got stay put. Stink foot bothers me. Your stinking foot puts the hits on my nose. Stink foot, stink foot, I ain't lying. Can you rinse it off, do you suppose? Now this is the first, this is the first sterling example of real live Detroit style audience participation. Let's get ready for this. This is going to be one of the big ones. It's very simple, you know. A lot of people that do rock and roll shows want to get the audience involved and they ask them to do hard things like keeping time to the music. We're not going to do that. All we need is a girl, we need a girl, maybe several girls, who will actually kiss this ugly son of a bitch right here, just put their mouth right on the end of this stinking replica blue foot. Do we have, and I know we do, right there in the corner, just looking at you, the way you're dressed, the way your hair is, the way your glasses are tastefully poised on the top of your head, your lips are destined to come in intimate contact with this foot. What do you say? You, you say no? Of course you say no. They always say no at first. Are you ready? Now there, 
there's a girl with good taste. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give you one more chance to redeem yourself. Perhaps, perhaps you're just entirely too well groomed to actually, yes, that's what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, share. Well, we'll put the foot away momentarily because we have some important things to show you. Many of these things that you'll see tonight are actually sick! The first mistake was roughly entitled, The Poodle. Check him out. Our guest poodle tonight is Frenchie. No one, God, say hi to Frenchie if you don't mind. When God first decided to build the poodle, Actually, it was a mistake because he wanted to build a schnauzer. He did fuck up. He knows it now. He did, did fuck up with the poodle. The original poodle had hair evenly distributed all over its small, piquant, charming, canine-type body. Then God made these other two mistakes. Mistake number two was man. Mistake number three was woo man. Woo man has always been extremely clever even since the olden days. And man has always been extremely stupid, even since the olden days. And any woo man will tell you that. Of course, that's not the problem with the poodle. The woo man looked at the poodle with lust in her heart. She wanted to find a way to appreciate, to find a deeper appreciation of the poodle's snout area. However, she did not wish to do this with poodle hair sticking out all over the place. No, 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 that would have been too common. The poodle of her dreams had to have a disco look, and so she devised the plan. 
she turned to the man and she said, Zucker, go get a job. And the man got up off of his booty, left the, gar the Garden of Eden, went out, and got a job pushing a broom for about $1.298 an hour. And then he came back and gave the money to the Wu man, who immediately took the money, left the Garden of Eden herself, and went to the nearest hardware store to purchase some scissors, some clippers, and a pair of zircon encrusted tweezers. That's right. She came back and she did a J-O-B on the D-O-G. She cleaned off his B-A-C-K, his T-H-O-R-A-X, his T-U-M, T-U-M. And here, right in this area near Flint, she removed the tiny brown particles that were so unattractive in those days. Then she tweezed, she tweezed thoroughly around this area here to reveal the little red flannel succulent, pink, moist, titillating poodle type tongue. And then induced the dog itself to squat on its hind legs as I will now demonstrate. Can you all see the dog squatting? Well, just imagine the dog is squatting. This is the next part you can understand really good. The dog is squatting, see, for those of you who can't see him squatting, and then the woo man goes over and Get the fuck out of sits way. on the dog's snout, making it go up inside of her mystery zone. Little black poodle lips and all, including the whiskers and all the little hair on the chin and everything, as I will now demonstrate. While she was down there, she managed to look deep into the eyes of this aforementioned poodle. And she said these words. Give me your dirty love. Like you might surrender to some dragon on the door. Give me your dirty love. Like a new donation to the dragon door. I don't want your sweet devotion. I don't need your cheap emotion. Pick me up a little bag of lotion for your dirty love. That dirty love. Your dirty love. That dirty love. Give me your dirty love. Like some tacky little pamphlet in your daddy's bound door. Give me your dirty love. I don't believe you never seen it back before. I don't want your reservation. Don't require your perspiration. I only got one destination, and that's your dirty love. That dirty love. Your dirty love. That dirty love. Just like your mama make that cause that go to go. It means your duty love. Just like your mama make that last thing to go to. I like all your cheap aroma, your little bow beat diploma. I just picked you in a coma with the duty love. That duty love. That duty love. That duty love.
And the next song we have is about a subject that is very complex. This is a complex subject because it, this subject is higher education. Some of you may have already come in, into intimate contact with... I'll wait till later for that. Some of you might have already come into contact with higher education and uh, will probably understand these lyrics very well because the name of this song is You Are Going to Wind Up Working in a Gas Station. This is song might offend you some If it does, it's because you're dumb That's the way it is where I come from You've been there too, let me see your thumb 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 Let me see your thumb, let me see your thumb. Let me see you now. 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 Show me your thumb if you really dumb. Show me your thumb if you really dumb. Show me your thumb if you really dumb. Show me your thumb if you dumb.
all green and buzzing It is marching above the sky Prisoners grumble and kiss their clothes And scratch their matted hair A tiny light from a window hole A hundred yards away Is all they ever get to know About the regular life of the day so bad, the storm's been choking, and when it stops, in the room where the giant fire buffer works, and the torture never stops, the torture never stops, the torture, the torture, the torture, the torture never stops. Mr. Midget with a bucket and a mop where the blood goes down the drain. And it stinks so bad, the storm's been choking and the big pin green is drops. In the room where the giant fire put the worst and the torture never stops. It's a steaming pig in a chamber right near there. He eats the snouts and the trotters spurs. The loins and the groins is soon dispersed. His carving style is well rehearsed. All men be cursed. All men be cursed. All men be cursed. And disagree. No wonder. He's the best of cars. In the night of the island sausage, where the torture never stops.
eyes all green and buzzing in his dungeon of despair. Who are all those people that he's locked away down there? Are they crazy?
It was the blackest night, there was no moon in sight You know the stars ain't shining cause the sky's too tight Heard the scary wind, I seen the ugly trees There was a werewolf walking along the side of me I mean and I'm bad, you know I ain't no sissy Got a big titty girly by the name Chrissy Talking about her in my bike and me And this ride up the mountain of mystery, mystery It was a 11 o'clock upon a Friday night You know that her and me was feeling out of sight We had 20 reds and a big old pile of weed You know she drank some wine and then she LSD Chrissy puked twice and jumped on my bike She yelled, fire it up because you know what I like She burned her leg on the tailpipe then And yelled, shittery And puked again Even the critics were acting weird up there So I figured I could just drink a little beer I said, give me some of that, what you're sucking on But there was no reply, cause she was gone Where's those titties I like so well? And I got that beer is what I started to yell Then I heard this noise like a crunching twig And up jumped the devil, he's about this big He had a red suit on and a widow's peak And then a pointed tail and like a sulfur ring It was a him all right, I swear I know it was He had some human flesh stuck underneath his claws You knew it looked to me like it was titty skin I said, you son of a bitch, cause I was mad at him Well, he just got out his floss and started cleaning his fangs So I shot him with my shooter, said, bang, bang, bang And the sucker just laughed and said, put it away You know I ate a ah uh, uh now what you gonna say? You ate my Chrissy? Yeah! Titties and all! Well, what about the beer then? Were the cans this tall? What about her boots? When I lied to you! Shit, you must have been hungry. Yeah! This is true! Well, don't they pay you good uh, for the stuff that you do? Well, you know, man, I can't complain when the checks come through. Well, I want my Chrissy and uh, I want my beer, so, so you just put her back out, boy. Do you hear? Listen! Blow it out your ass, motorcycle man! I mean, I am the devil! Do you understand? Just what will you give me for your titties and beer? Why, I suppose you notice this little contract here? You're goddamn right, you son of a whore. Your mother. That's about the only reason I learned right and for. Give me that paper. You can bet your ass I'll sign. Because I need a beer and it's titty squeezing time. You can't fool me. You ain't that bad. I mean, you should have seen some of the souls that I've had. Why, there was Milhouse Nixon yeah. and Agnew too. And both of those suckers was worse than you. Well, let's make a deal if you think that's true. Come I on, mean, man. come on, you're the devil. What you gonna do, huh? Wait a minute. You ain't supposed to want to make a deal. What, what's the trick Look, here? I'm gonna put it to you very succinctly. Yeah, that's you can I have mean. my soul. It's a mean little sucker about a thousand uh, years old. That old. Once you gets it, you can't give it back. You gotta keep it forever, and that's a natural fact. Now, hold on. I don't know about that. And you have to keep it in the icebox oh, next no. to the pickles. Hey, now, you know I ain't got no icebox where I live. Look, let me make myself perfectly clear to coin a phrase. I'm a very simple-minded sort of a person. You know that. I mean, you can tell. What? No shit? That's right.
Well, anyway, I'm very simple-minded. There's only a couple of things that really interest me, you know? I'm just a regular guy. I can go for some beer, a little hockey, a little basketball, a little football, some more beer, a little hockey. But mainly what I go for is tits, you know? It's a natural sort of a thing. <laughs> And you know, you're leaving me here without any recreation tonight. I want those titties back. Do you understand? Titties and beer. 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 No, 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 wait! Please! No! Don't sign it! Give me time to think! I mean, hold on a second, boy, because that's magic in And then the devil puked and out to my girl. They heard the titties pop it. All around the world, she said, I got me three beers and a fistful of downs, and I'm gonna get ripped, so fuck you clowns. And then she gave us the finger, the bridge and stiff. That's when the devil, he farted, and she went right over the cliff. Not pretty good, huh? The devil was mad, I took off to my pad. I swear I do declare, how did she get back there? I swear I do declare, how did she get back there? I swear I do declare, I should get back there. I swear I do declare, I should get back there. I swear I do declare, I should get back there. I swear I do declare, I should get back there. All right, all right, all right. We got a song for you. That's, this is one of the one of the instrumental items on our new album, which is entitled Suit Allures. This is a song for Michigan lovers only. The name of this song is Black Napkins.
Vishnu Orchestra. Oh, it's Detroit Talent Night. It's the Gong Show. Right. We have we have not really rehearsed anything of a uh, spectacular nature for you, but what we're going to try and do is cruise through some of the uh, older tunes and. Uh, so we can have a good time with it.
Brooklyn. And you boys not paid up on your car. <laughs> no, I'm pleased to meet you. Been trying all day to reach you. Who's here to help me? What are you rocking those stars? Welcome to Chicago. Welcome to Detroit. Welcome to our local here. You'll always hear me say. You work those years, a couple of bucks. I'm sure you're glad to pay. With me, I'll is your receipt. Now I'll go away. Now I'll go away. Now I'll go away. Now I'll go away. 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 Clutching at your hand, wait ten seconds. Clutching at your arm, wait ten seconds. Clutching at your elbow, where the cap was here gone. I met the monster came out, and everybody shout. People all around you screaming at the monster, the monster from the USO. Who's this dude with his hair straight back? Two white socks and his pants all black. His t-shirts rolled, his watch is gold. Fifty five Chevy that his brother just stole in his arms around your waist and his hands in your pants. And he asked you for a day to the service and dance. Cause they don't want What can they do with a joker like that? If the answer is no, would you go all the way? 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 Screaming all night. Work, work, work on the wall. Daddy, 
What's a group like you doing in a place like that? Oh. Next line. We left our place after midnight, and we came to this home. Me and my brother just came here looking to ball. Well, you came to the right place. Yeah. This is it. This is the swingingest place in the whole state of Michigan. No shit. Wow! How true that is, baby. How true indeed. Me and my girlfriend, we came here tonight looking for those pop stars that we need. You know what it is. Whoa! You like to get it on? Oh, we like to get it on. I like to do get it on. Do you like to get it on, too? No, we do. Well, what did you have in my eye? Here we go! Well, my girlfriend, she digs it with a dirty oh, enchilada wrapped up and down the side, up and down the side of a donkey. And I really like it with the cream corn spewed all over me. The cream corn, you know, that's really one of my favorite. The Alka-Seltzers and the heated glass. I like that. <laughs> Seltzer gets me so hot I can scream. You know, you two girls sound really far out and groovy. Never been to a holiday in. Magic fingers in the bed, a wall-mounted TV screen, coffee holes plugged into the bathroom wall, poor Micah's really keen. What kind of girl, what kind of girl do you think we are? What kind of girl, what kind of girl? Two guys wouldn't let just anybody in the audience spew on their vital parts. No, no. They want a person from the audience who can help them get their single on the charts. Oh. How Funny you should mention it. <laughs> Our new single. That's one thing I gotta say. She was a guy from the group who's got a thing. She wants a guy from the group who's got a thing in the shot. She wants a guy from the group who's got a thing in the shot. She wants a guy from the group who's got a thing in the shot. And if his dick is a monster, if his dick is a monster. If the stick is a monster, we will get it high. I couldn't say where she's coming from, but I just met a lady named Dino Hunt. School on the said, look here, mom, I got a forty dollar bill. Says you can't make me come. No, 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 you just can't do it. In a bed with a sister who's a little bit nuts She could poop at any time all men was gone I don't mind that you call me a bum But I knew right away she really ain't gonna come So I got down to it I whipped off a glimmer and stiffened my thumb And applied a little taste to a sugar plum I poked and stroked till my wrist got numb Still didn't hear no dynamo hum Dynamo hum, yeah Where's this dynamo coming from? I don't spend three hours and I ain't got a crumb from the dynamo. Dynamo, dynamo, from the dynamo. Oh, 
She said, Dynamo might win the bet, but she could use a little oh. if I wasn't done yet. I told her, just because the sun won a place in the sky, no reason to assume I would give her a try. So I pulled on her hair, got her legs up in the air, and asked her if she had any cooties in there. What do you mean, cooties? No cooties on me! She was thumbs up kneeling. Thumbs up! I was wheeling and dealing. Wheeling and dealing. She surrendered to the feeling. Sweetly surrendered. She started into squealing. I am a watch from the edge of the bed with her lips just a twitching and her face gone red. Some drool rolling down from the edge of her chin while she spied the condition her sister was in. She quivered and quaked and clutched at herself. Her sister made a joke about her mental health until Dynamo finally did give in. But I told her all she really needed was some discipline. I said, cast my aura, aura. It's real Angora. Would y'all like some aura right here on the floor? And how about you, Fauna? Do you wanna? Couldn't say where she's coming from, but I just met a lady named Dynamo Hong. You just had to it. She made a bet with a sister who's a little bit dumb. She could prove it any time all men were stung. Back there, Flo and Eddie, 
They're probably beer saturated by now. And Don Brewer. Anyway, thanks for coming to the show. Hope you enjoyed it. Good night. This song, this song is uh, approximately, uh, let's see, 1956, about 20 years old. Originally recorded by the Jayhawks on the Flash label, ladies and gentlemen, covered by the Cadets on RPM, and eventually by the New York Dolls. This is a song called Stranded in the Jungle. Crash in the jungle while trying to keep the date with my little girl who was back in the States. Strand the jungle, afraid and alone, trying to figure a way to get a message back home. But how was I to know that the wreckage of my brain had been picked up and spotted by my girl in mother's land? Meanwhile, back in the States. Baby, baby, let's make romance. You know your old time lover. the jungle. Oh, 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 oh. The boys in the jungle had me on the run when something heavy hit me like an atomic bomb. When I woke up and my head started to clear. I had the strange feeling I was in cooking gear. Oh, I turned around and I looked to see. That's when I found out there was a cooking bee. Let me out of here. Meanwhile, back in the States. So I thumbed down a whale who was hitting my way And I reached the stage in about a half a day Now when I got to Lover's Lane I was almost dead But my soul was gone and here's what I said Baby, baby, the man's no good Oh, baby, baby, you should have understood You can't trust me, guys, no less than please So come a good baby whale, you said me Cause I love it, cause I love it Cause I love it we're gonna blend this into another song. <laughs> Someone I should know. She had a snake for a pet, and the man knew it. And she was breeding a plant, but she wasn't done yet. She had gray green skin, a doll with a pin. I told her she was all right, but I couldn't come in. Actually, I was very busy then trying to get this thing out of my way. And so she wandered through the doorway, just like a shadow from the tomb. She said a stereo was four way. Just love it in a room Well, I was born to have adventure So I just followed up the steps 
Right past the fuming incense denture To where she hung a cast of it She stripped away her rancid poncho Laid up naked by the door We did it till we were unconscious And it was useless anymore She had a snake for a pet And an amulet And she was bleeding at twice But she wasn't done yet She had gray green skin A doll with a pin I told her she was alright But I couldn't come in And so she wandered through the doorway Like a shadow from the tomb She said her scary Right past her fuming incense stencher